Congratulations, you have taken the first step by downloading and installing Wappler. However, your initial excitement soon disappears into dismay, because all you see is a blank canvas and icons on the left of the canvas. Some of these icons are disabled, while the bottom four are clearly visible and enabled. Hopefully, you have a paid-up version of Wappler, because a seven-day trial is going to place extra pressure on you. Okay. That is where I will endeavor to help you out. Let's start by selecting the bottom icon. This shows your account details as well as a link for support. I strongly recommend paying a visit to the Wappler community on a regular basis. Among others, this is a great learning resource. For a more detailed version of your account and the ability to modify your details, you can choose the My Account option. I know that you're longing to get cracking on using Wappler. I will briefly go through the remaining icons with a view of explaining these in more detail in another video. The next icon up is for setting options for the Wappler application. You can explore these options, but I suggest to leave these at their default value for the moment. Then come the extensions. Here you can see the available built-in extensions for Wappler. Icons labeled basic are available for both versions of Wappler, while those labeled pro are available for the pro version only. Lastly, we arrive at the projects icon. In the display dialog, we see two demo projects. The first one is a static portfolio, while the second one is for a dynamic real estate site. Because I am using my production version of Wappler, my projects folder shows a number of subfolders that contain my projects. I will discuss this in more detail in another video. For now, let us choose the real estate site. This reveals a whole new scenario. All of the icons on the left have been enabled, and a panel has appeared on the right of the canvas. On working our way up the left-hand side, we encounter the search icon. Using the search panel you can do a site-wide search, or search and replace. If I enter, price is the search item. The search results are displayed in the panel. The next icon is for the theme manager. Because the demo site has not been properly configured, I will need to add the bootstrap framework. The theme manager panel allows you to customize the style and create your own version of the design framework used in your project. Then comes the routing icon. The routing panel allows you to create SEO-friendly URLs for your websites, using the visual URL rewriting options. A lot of power comes with the database manager in Wappler. You can quickly connect your project to all kinds of databases. The real estate project uses a JSON file for the data, that is why there is no database. The server connect panel is where you define your server workflows, visually. Connect to your databases, work with dynamic data, send emails, manage files and folders, process images, create login systems and more. The Git panel provides version control options in Wappler. You can create a Git repository for every Wappler project you wish to keep track on. Having a repository is a great way to have a good backup of all your project files and their changes. Last of all, we open the file manager. The pages view shows our opened index file. Clicking the assets tab, we are told to update the projects options. When I do this, our assets are shown in the panel. The Files tab shows the project directory. Of special note is the JSON file that contains the data that populates the page. Moving along the top of the canvas, we come across the camera icon. Clicking this icon will take a snapshot of the current canvas and store it as a thumbnail for your project in the Project Manager. Design view is probably the most important part of Wappler's interface, where you see your design fully rendered. Here you can see how your website or app looks, you can visually add elements inside, before or after the selected element, duplicate whole blocks of content or delete anything from the page or app layout, and so much more. Wappler generates clean semantic HTML, CSS and JS code, which you can modify directly in code view, if you feel comfortable to do so. Split view offers a mix of design and code views. You can edit the code and see the changes directly in the design part, or vice versa. Using the responsive options icons, allows you to preview and adjust how your site or app looks on different devices. 
The brake points coincide with the bootstrap design rules. The Thunderbolt icon toggles the app connect mode. You can toggle the preview mode on, which disables interaction with the elements in design view and panels. This option makes the design view act as a browser and react to your clicks as a browser. We turn the preview mode off, and reload the design view. You can also use the open in browser button, to preview the page in your default web browser. The panels located on the right side of the Wappler window are related to your page design and front-end workflows. If you need extra width for the canvas, you can open and close the panel by clicking on the chevron icon. The app structure panel is one of the most important part of Wappler and probably the most used one. This is where you design the website's structure and appearance. Add elements and components on the page, adjust their dedicated properties in the properties panel. The design panel provides you with visual tools to style your page content. But before this panel can be used, we need to enter the location of the CSS file. Now, when we select an element, we can adjust the layout, position, text, background, colors, borders and many other CSS properties for any element on the page. You can design for different screen sizes, which creates the required styles and media queries for the selected device. The Styles panel allows you to write your own custom CSS rules, if you ever feel the need to write your own CSS by hand. Unlike the App Structure panel, which shows you only the components and properties of the frameworks you are using on your page, the DOM panel gives access to all common HTML elements and their properties or attributes. This is where you will find properties that were not available in the App Structure panel. The main menu is neatly tucked away behind these three dots. The reason for its obscurity lies with the fact that practically all of the items have a hotkey attached to them. In practice, this menu is rarely used. One notable item is the ability to submit an error report. Moving from left to right along the bottom of the canvas, we see our project name. Clicking on the name, reveals the project manager. The cog icon opens the project settings. The target allows us to change the target. The most common targets are, development and production. These targets are set in the project settings. Next, there is the target check. This checks the connection to the target and reports if there is a connection error. The get icon synchronizes local files with the remote, the publish icon does the reverse. If the process takes too long, the abort icon will stop the process. System check is important to make sure that required dependencies are installed on your machine. That is it for this overview of Wappler. I hope that this has been of assistance and don't forget the Wappler community or the Docker documentation. I will leave the links below.